Today I'm going to show you how I made this really cute crochet CD pop top purse and using simple things like old recycled CDs and plain old pop tops. All that's coming up next on Crocheting with Nyla. few things that you need to make the pop top CD purse you need an old CD crochet hook and I am using a 4.5 and I'm using a soft variegated yarn as well as you need plenty of pop top okay we got to start with the CD first and what you're gonna do is just as you crochet you do a crochet um, the knot to kind of slip knot to hold your yarn in place and then you're going to take the yarn from the back side. You're going to reach in and grab it and pull it up. And then once you pull it up, bring it back around to the back so that you can um, um, hook it. So I'm going to come through the hook that's there. And then I'm going to come through the hook that's on here just to get me going. So now you're going to do the same thing. Um, I found too that you can either take a pair of tweezers and pull it up and I found that to be a simple way to do it as well and you're going to um, we're just doing a slip knot on the back side and slip knot here it's not really a single crochet it's just a you're just doing a slip uh, stitch so again so this is what we're going to do we're going to continue to do this until um, we get 50 of these and when I say 50 uh, let me show you what I'm talking about when I say 50 okay so I'm gonna spread these out so you can see uh, you got two sets of twos I mean you got sets of two so here's one set of two there's another set of two and then there's three so we have four on here now even though that's eight stitches it's actually four sets of stitches so I'm going to continue on until I have my 50 on here so I'm just going to keep crocheting until I get the 50. Okay, now we're at the 50. And I wanted you to see before we go any further. Um, now you see what you've got is you have a row of stitches on the very top. And that's so that you can branch out to make, um, you know, your other stitches. And also, I'm working on the, the wrong side of the CD. And the reason I'm doing that, because I don't know if, you, if the camera is picking this up, but there's an iridescence on the back side of the CDs. And that in itself is going to give a lot of character to your project. I've got my 50. So now I'm going to start with the crochet. And I'm going to put my yarn or my hook up under that first set of stitches that's on the top. That's these stitches that are right here on the top and you're going to um, slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do a single crochet in that exact same stitch okay so now we're going to increase a little bit because now the project's going to get a little bit bigger so um, every other stitch you're going to put two single crochets in so this one I did one so and I'm going up under both of those stitches see there's two stitches right here you want your hook to go up under both of those. So in this next one, I'm going to do two single crochets. And then the next one, I'm going to do one single crochet. And that's going to give us the increase that we need to make it kind of spread out, but not be curling also. And also what I'm doing is this tail that's out, I'm crocheting over that tail to make it disappear. Uh, complete this this um, same step or the same sequence all the way around one single crochet two single crochets all the way around until you come back to meet the other side okay so now I'm down to my last two single crochets and then I'm going to slip stitch into that top chain two space and then I'm going to chain two again so now we've got the base done now we're ready to add the actual um pop tops 
So I have a bag of Pop Tops right here. And you're going to need 50, so I'm going to go ahead and count out 50. So here are my Pop Tops. Now you notice the Pop Tops have a wide end. That's the end that has a little tab on it that's kind of rough. And then you have the smooth end, um, the smaller opening. So what we're going to do, you're going to take one Pop Top and you're going to turn it on the wrong side. We're going to be, we're going to be working off the wrong side. So we're going to take one, we're going to take another, and we're going to line them up with the, the small side forward, and then the small side and the rough side are overlap each other like that. So you want to skip this first one because that's the one you're going to close off with. And then you're going to do a single crochet, two single crochets into every other stitch. And that's two. And you're going to make sure you turn them. So now you're going to be doing this in every other stitch. And you want to line them up exactly the way that you lined up the previous ones. Skip the next stitch and then do two more single crochets. There's one. And there's two. And we'll do that again. Pick up one. Turn it with the smooth side. And don't put it on top unless you've been going on top. Since mine are on the bottom, I'm making sure I put it on the bottom. And then every other one, two double crochet, two single crochets, excuse me. Okay, so this is what you want, and this is what it should be looking like. So when you flip it up, it kind of looks like that. And it'll be on the right side. So you want to keep doing this with all 50 of your, your pop tops and crocheting in every other loop. So repeat this all the way around until you get back to the beginning and I'll show you how to close it off. I'm down to my last three. So again, put the hook in and I'm skipping. And then two single crochets. And I'm doing this to the last two because there's only two left. And then I was going to show you how to finish this off. So I'm at the last one. So I'm going to do the last stitch. Okay, now the reason we didn't do that first one is because we're going to put this one up under there. And there's one more stitch left. You can't see it, but there's one more stitch. And now with those two together, I'll go into that last stitch. And do the two single crochets also. And that didn't take... So that connects them all. So now if you were to take it and open it out, so now you can see how it made the curve without any puckering. So now what you want to do is you want to come now and put two single crochets in each one of these. So I'm going to chain two and then I've already chained one and then I'm going to single crochet twice in each of the, the loops. But now when you do it, you're catching two loops. So like those two are lined up. You're not doing it separate. You're lining them up on top of each other and crocheting between the two. Line those two up and then crochet. And you'll just repeat this all the way around until you get back to your beginning. Now we got the last one. I need one more stitch inside of that, those um, pop tops. And then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the chain one or chain two, whichever one you did. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. And then you're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch. And you're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and then you want to slip stitch in the top of that chain two or chain one whichever one you did and then close it off and now you notice it curls a little bit which is fine because this is the outside of the purse and once we put that um, the band on it or the connector 
then that's going to pull that backwards and that's fine so now we have the two pieces we need to make our purse so now let's get ready to make the sides 